Let's move on to the final email of the day. And the final email today comes to us from Daryl Stoneman, who writes, I was wondering if you had a chance to see the new Joker images that just came out for Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. I wasn't sure how I felt about the look when the video came out last week, but now with the green hair and everything, that's going to haunt my nightmares. What do you think? All right, thanks a lot, man. And of course, last week, we talked about this briefly. Last week, the first little test footage came out of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. And what I said on open mic was that, you know what? I don't know that I'm I'm into the, the makeup. Not that that's important, but I just don't know if I'm into the makeup. Well, since then, other little bits of footage of a subway scene and a lot more images have come out. Let's just take a, a look at a couple of these. So this is from, you know, a, a subway scene where the Joker comes out. There's obviously some kind of little riding thing going on. Take a look at the blue sign being held by somebody, one of the clowns in the background. Blame Wayne. So clearly there's going to be some kind of adversarial position that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is taking towards the Wayne family. Uh, we take a look at another image, just a little bit close up, taken again from the same scene because he comes walking out with this Joker mask on, takes the mask off, and he's got the clown makeup underneath. And I've got to tell you, when I start seeing it, the makeup in a scene, it's starting to work for me. Then you get into a couple of the ones that just creep me out a bit. You take a look at this one. All right, yeah, that that is a horrifying joker and then you go and take a look at another one and yeah okay yeah that's that's kind of creepy that's kind of creepy right there and i'm kind of now buying into it so my first reaction to the look that we got in that one little social media video was eh, i don't know if i love the makeup seeing it in a scene now it's growing on me in all the worst ways, like nightmare kind of creepy sort of ways. Also, interestingly, we got our first look at Zazie Beetz uh, in the film as well. Very nondescript. We just get this first look at her and her character. Again, nothing, you know, to write home about, nothing for us to digest, nothing for us to dissect, nothing for us to analyze. She's just clearly a character in a sweater, but interesting enough, nonetheless, that we're getting a look at her in her, how she's going to look in the film. Now, when we see these images, particularly, let me bring up this one again, when you, or at least these two. When you see Joaquin Phoenix in this one and this one, these are the types of images that then remind me that, you know what, this is not just another actor in clown makeup. This is a world-class actor in Joaquin Phoenix. Now, just to keep put in perspective and just to remind us all, we think of Joaquin Phoenix, we think, oh yeah, he's a great actor, but do we really grasp just how good he is? I mean, if we look at some of the notable films that he's done, forget those top row, forget that top row films that he's been nominated for Academy Awards for, forget those. Let's just look at these other notable ones, right? You Were Never Really Here, Her, Buffalo Soldier, Inherent Vice, like, if we had never even heard of those top three movies and we just knew this Joaquin Phoenix actor from You Were Never Really Here, Her, Inherent Vice, Buffalo Star, and other films he's done, we would already be thinking, oh yeah, this is one of the best actors out there today. He's one of the best. And that's without taking into consideration these other three films at the top, the ones he'd been nominated for Academy Awards for, The Master, Gladiator, which he very easily could have won, and Walk the Line, another one he very easily could have won. So it says something about just how good an actor is when you can say, you know what, take all the movies that he was nominated for Academy Awards out and just look at his other ones, and you still come away with the notion that this dude's one of the best actors today. And that's without thinking about his Academy Award-nominated performances. That says a lot, and this is the guy this is the guy behind that makeup. And I'll tell you what, I know a lot of people are still very nervous about this Joker incarnation. A lot of people are very nervous about the notion of having two different Jokers in two different universes and all that kind of stuff. I get it. I do. But from day one that they announced this, I have not been able to help but feel a real sense of optimism about it because of the people involved, 
the direction they seem to be taking with it. And I love the notion of doing elsewhere, el elsewhere movies, else world movies, I should say, that take place outside of a cinematic universe. I love that principle. And seeing these images, just seeing Joaquin Phoenix getting into the stream of it now, I got to tell you, I'm getting more excited about it. I really am. And I know there's still a lot of you that are still more apprehensive. Totally understand that. And maybe the movie will suck. All I can say is right now, I'm personally getting pretty damn excited. All right. With all that out of the way now, guys, we let's save some time here and go over and take some live questions. A bunch of you guys have been sending in a whole ton of questions already.